Well, when I got out of bed this morning, I did not expect to be talking about this subject today, and I didn't even expect to be making a video. Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are here to talk about how Motherwell have just become the first team in history to receive 6 points on one day. Now all joking aside because you know me, I like to keep everything light hearted but we've got to talk about why this has happened and why Kilmarnock and St Martin have faced the repercussions they have had uh, in op opposed to like Celtic, Aberdeen, Rangers about their situations uh, with with all this COVID stuff about players sort of socialising when it's been specifically prohibited. But before we get into the main bulk of this video, I would like to thank everyone for helping me reach 9,000 subscribers. You know, as the fans of Dragon Ball Z will be a massive fan of my reference here. It's over 9,000! But anyway, that's enough joking. Uh, because this is a very serious video, so the seriousness starts now. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit and read the article with you and then I'm going to give you my overall thoughts. Kilmarnock FC and St Mirren FC disciplinary outcomes announced. The SPFL has today announced that the outcomes uh, of the disciplinary proceedings brought in relation to Kilmarnock and St Mirren. Both sets of proceedings were brought before a subcommittee of the SPFL board sitting as a tribunal chaired by an independent senior solicitor and involving a sheriff highly experienced in sports disputes. For Kilmarnock, it was alleged that Kilmarnock FC had breached the SPFL's COVID-19 regulations during the lead-up to their postponed league match versus Motherwell on Friday the 2nd of October. Kilmarnock admitted a number of breaches of the SPFL's COVID-19 regulations. Uh, this admitted breaches involving the seating arrangements on the coach and the pre-match meal for an away game. In both cases, it was admitted by the club that there was a failure to observe physical distancing. The tribunal imposed the following sanctions. Kilmarnock FC's league match versus Motherwell, originally scheduled for 2nd October 2020, be recorded as a 0-3 uh, victory for Motherwell FC and a fine of 40000 suspended in full until the 30th of June 2021, pending any further breaches the SP fails COVID-19 regulations by the club. The decision in full is available here. Let's have a look then. Oh my god. Really? How many pages is this? What I will do is I'll leave a link in the description to the page uh, for those who are actually interested uh, in reading the whole document. I mean, it's multiple pages and we're not going to have enough time to get this video uploaded today otherwise. So we're going to crack on with St Mirren's case. Uh, it was alleged that St Mirren FC had breached the SPFL's COVID-19 regulations during the lead-up to their postponed league matches versus Motherwell FC on Saturday 17th October and Hamilton Ackies on Saturday 24th of October. Now, the thing is, the, the game against Motherwell had been called off like three hours before kickoff. So going by the fact that if you did catch COVID, you had to self-isolate for 10 days. I mean, they, they, they were still thinking by the Thursday before the game against Hamilton Ackies that the game could still go ahead. Now, that is absolute rubbish because, I mean, if you find out on a Saturday that you've caught COVID, you've got the next Saturday, which is seven days, Sunday 8, Monday 9, Tuesday 10, you've got up till the, the following Tuesday, that's when before you even think about leaving the house. I mean, that that's how it is. It's just... Like, it still perplexes me to this day that the SPFL were hoping that that game was going to go ahead. I mean, going by the the laws and regulations of COVID, if you catch COVID, the, the fact you've got to self-isolate for 10 days, if you've got it, and then for those around you, have to self-isolate self sorry, for 14 days... I mean, 
that was a no-brainer. Like the fact that people still thought that game was going to go ahead, it, it confuses me. Anyway, moving on, uh, St Mirren admitted a number of breaches of the SPFL's COVID-19 regulations. These admitted breaches involved the seating arrangements on the coach at, and at the pre-match meal for an away game. In both cases, there was a failure to observe physical distancing uh, by the players and staff. God, this really is a pain in the arse, isn't it? Uh, Additionally, St Mirren admitted failing to provide suitable facilities to enable players to observe physical distancing at training and also accepted that players had been car sharing to and from training. Well, let's be fair, St Mirren have now got a, its own like indoor training dome uh, right next to the stadium. If, if they train there, then they're not even outside. Uh, the tribunal imposed the following sanctions. Uh, St Mirren FC's league match versus Motherwell, originally scheduled for 17th October 2020, be recorded as a 0-3 victory for Motherwell. Uh, St Mirren FC's league match versus Hamilton Ackies, originally scheduled for 24th October 2020, to be recorded as a 0-3 victory for Hamilton. And a 40,000 fine suspended until the 30th of June 2021, pending any further breaches uh, of the SPFL's COVID-19 regulations by the club. Decision in full is available here. Uh, a spokesperson from the, for the SPFL commented, The COVID-19 regulations put in place by the SPFL and the detailed pro- protocols issued by the SPFL slash SFA joint response group are intended to enable season 2021 to continue with the minimum disruption and the minimum risk for those players and staff uh, involved. Strict adherence to these regulations and protocols is therefore crucially important in order for season 2021 to be completed as scheduled. We note the admission by each of Kilmarnock and St Mirren that they breached SPFL regulations and commend both clubs for the measures that their boards have recently put in place to avoid a repeat of the circumstances that led to the postponement of these matches in October. Now, going back to what I originally said uh, back in my previous video on this subject, look, the, but when I when I said it, I didn't know if Scotland were going to qualify for the Euros, and I said at the time, look, if we keep having to postpone matches, we could be looking at an extended season, and that could really affect... Uh, potential players that are called up to the Scotland squad because I mean everyone needs a holiday now and then and you sort of need a wee holiday before you go and play in the Euros. Uh, so I mean it's not just that I mean that is a bullshit thing that I've just made up but it's also a valid comment to make. I mean it's to, like one thing I am worried about now is just the the fact that there could be Scottish players that can't go and play in this. Uh, Euro 2021 now because well in that time they, they could potentially catch COVID but now we've got this this uh, vaccine that's coming out uh, so it's all the better uh, because you know, people will be will start to become uh, unable to get said uh, COVID. Now there's been a massive difference in repercussions uh, from Kilmarnock and St Mirren uh, in this case uh, compared to Aberdeen, Celtic, Rangers, because, well, I think the difference is the fact that the club of Kilmarnock and St Mirren already knew that players or staff were breaking protocol uh, to, you know, car share, as as mad as that sounds, uh, because, of course, I mean, they share the same pitch, they share the same sort of dressing rooms. It's just... Completely bizarre, but the, the fact is, Kilmarnock and St Mirren were aware of these things happening, whereas Rangers didn't know about George Edmondson and Jordan Jones going on the razzmatazz, uh, Celtic didn't know about Bolly Bowling Goalie going abroad to do whatever he was doing, uh, and the Aberdeen club officials did not know about the players going out in Aberdeen, and they got caught because, well, photos were all over social media and you know in this world you cannot do anything if you're in the sort of spotlight of a footballer without getting noticed. Now what does this mean for the league table? It means that Motherwell 
go up to 21 points and I think we're fifth. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and we, uh, we, we could, if we beat Hibs on Saturday, we could go two points behind them in the league. And that would be fantastic. It means that we are potential dark horses for the top four. But on the other hand, uh, this, I mean, this is a deadly disease. Uh, I mean, it is bittersweet, as I said at the start. Uh, okay, it's not the way you want to win games. You want to win games by actually playing them and showing that you are actually better than your opposition. But, to be honest, as a Motherwell fan, I'm not complaining with with, with the season we've had. It's been so topsy-turvy. Uh, and the amount of games we've had called off due to COVID. And I'm just... I'm glad we've been given the six points. But on the other hand, I'm annoyed because of the way it's happened. And it's... The whole marriage between two camps. It's just... It's such an awful situation to be in. I mean, some some of these reasons that are coming across on Twitter, they are absolute rubbish uh, because people are saying this, that, and the other. And, uh, I mean, people could say what they want on social media, but the facts are that these two clubs have broken uh, protocol. Okay, a fine of £40,000 for St Mirren Kilmarnock, not to be paid till June next year. But I still think a fine was harsh. I think if you're going to like if you're going to dock points or if you're going to award a victory to the opposition, that should be it. Or the other way around, you should fine them and let the game still be played. I don't think uh, a double whammy there should be done at all. But I mean, I'm not a part of the SPFL board, so I'm just an honest fan trying to get an honest opinion out of this. Dare I make a joke by saying Motherwell are the first team ever to receive six points in a day. Uh, Hamilton Aki is also winning 3-0. That's something that you don't see every day either. But yeah, the, the six points is a massive advantage for us, but at the same time, it's not ideal. For me, it's the best case scenario out of an absolutely awful situation that we've somehow benefited from uh, but it still means that the players didn't get the minutes under the belt and it still means that we've still got a lot to cover and it also provides more of a bit of ammunition for Samara and Kilmarnock next time they play us like we've got to pay them back for taking the three points off us because of this happening but uh, yeah anyway guys that is basically the article let me know what you have to say in the comments and because I, I know this this isn't going to go away and uh, there will be people that are wanting to complain to the SPFA or SFA about this happening because in my opinion it, it shouldn't be happening but at the same time I understand where the SPFA are coming from and why they've done this uh, and yeah anyway guys I'll see you very soon uh, take care I suppose and don't catch COVID because this sort of shit could happen to your team.